The people of the Middle East, like people everywhere, are seeking a chance to contribute and to have a role in the decisions that will shape their lives. Leaders need to respond to these aspirations and to help build that better future for all. They need to view civil society as their partner, not as a threat. I want to take this opportunity to update the American people about the situation in Libya. Last month, protesters took to the streets across the country to demand their universal rights and a government that is accountable to them and responsive to their aspirations. But they were met with an iron fist. Freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, and freedom of the press. Come here. Do you, you want to get arrested or no? are pillars of an open and inclusive society. <laughs> there is a clear responsibility by the Egyptian government to hold accountable those responsible for these attacks. <laughs> Iranian people have sought nothing more than to exercise their universal rights. We call upon the Iranian government to abide by the international obligations that it has to respect the rights of its own people. We call for the immediate release of all who have been unjustly detained. And I'm confident that history will be on the side those who seek justice. Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. And I'm not moving. I'm a law student at George Washington University. And I'm not moving. I will go to jail tonight because it's not right. We are against violence and we would call to account the Iranian government that is once again using its security forces and resorting to violence to prevent the free expression of ideas from their own people. Instead of respecting the rights of his own people, Gaddafi chose the path of brutal suppression. Innocent civilians were imprisoned. I have not been read my rights. I have not been told by a being detained. We want to know the people who are in there. We want to know all their names, what they're being charged with. And in some cases, beaten. He can't breathe, officer. Please get off his neck. I need my inhaler. A campaign of intimidation and repression began. It is the responsibility of the government of Libya 
to respect the universal rights of their own people, including their right to free expression and assembly. What's his badge number? What is his badge number? Demonstrators have been beaten, attacked. It is absolutely clear that the Syrian government is running out of time. Each new depiction of the abuses of the police on the First Amendment, the more people will show up here in New York City, and the more waves of occupation will spread across this country. And you should be proud of that, police, because you are participating in our media publicity campaign. Thank you for attending. What is absolutely clear is that we are witnessing history unfold. It's a moment of transformation that's taking place because the people of Egypt are calling for change. They've turned out in extraordinary numbers representing all ages and all walks of life. But it's young people who've been at the forefront. A new generation your generation, who want their voices to be heard.